the know you're wondering how then do you get to know your status if 1.5 million people are currently living with HIV and AIDS and that's a fantastic question because getting an HIV test could now be as simple as getting a packet of fries or even just a soft drink well the government has introduced HIV test kit vending machines as part of a pilot program to reduce transmission especially among men so according to the National AIDS and STI control program the lead government body mandated to fight HIV new infections the main deterrent for testing among men is the fear of a positive test result and the ensuing worries such as the association with the HIV with sexual promiscuity as a result. Men often test by proxy, inferring their own HIV status from wives' HIV test results. Kadzo Gunga has more. The government has been making strides to reduce the transmission of HIV by ensuring more people know their status. However, testing remains low among men. But now the National AIDS and STI Control Program, NASCOP, is looking for innovative ways to push men to test for HIV, at least from the comfort of their homes. The goal is to reach those who may be reluctant to go to a clinic for a test because of the stigma of contracting HIV. You take out your phone. Just like chips or soft drink, men in Kenya now have the option of also grabbing a HIV test kit to go from a vending machine. Farmer's Choice in Kahawa has a workforce of about 1,700 men. This location will serve as the first pilot site for an innovation that dispenses HIV self-test kit to its workers, who are mainly men. It's placed strategically at the entrance hall of the dining center with an aim of having anyone willing to self-test do so in privacy. The results, I was very happy. That ni major resort zangu within my comfort. This machine holds up to 22 oral self-test kit. It's one of its kind here in the country. It has to operate on a power source and also within an internet accessible area. Once you log into the website, you will be greeted by a bunch of instructions on how to use the kit so that you can be able to dispense a kit. It's touch screen, answer a couple of questions, and it spits out a test kit. It's that easy. Bernard Oyugi has picked the test kit today and is willing to demonstrate to us how it operates. To dispense a kit only takes less than two minutes. Just like the other test kits, the results appear on the screen of the kit. One line at letter C, meaning negative, while two lines appearing on the screen at both letter C and T means positive. We have many people coming in, but you find the percentage of the people who will visit that visiting are more ladies than men. Looking at men in terms of identification, uh, the figure is at 79% compared to 86% in women. According to NASCOP, if uptake here at Farmer's Choice is good, then the concept will be rolled out to other parts of the country. NASCOP is still in its pilot project to bringing men on board in terms of testing. Since this machine was placed here a week ago, at least 400 kids have been used. The management saying a 50-50 turn up queuing to pick the kids. If, if they come across a positive result, they need to go to a, the health facility and have them tested using the country's algorithm. Kadzogunga, Citizen TV.